Welcome to M2Hockey and HockeyShare.com. Today we're going to talk about the hinge play for defensemen. So before we actually get into what the actual hinge play is, we're going to talk about proper defensive support. So when I'm coming back with the puck regrouping, we're attacking this direction, I want my partner to be approximately one stick length behind and give me a good clear target. This means as we're moving backwards, we're both moving backwards together, and this gives me a nice line to make a pass slightly back towards our defensive zone in order to make it more difficult on the forechecker. If my partner takes a step forward and he's too far up, the forechecker has to do a lot less work to get a stick in this passing lane. So by my partner dropping back, just one stick length, two stick lengths, now we're moving the puck back towards the defensive zone, and we're going to make it a lot more difficult on the forechecker. So when we talk about a hinge play, hinge play starts off with a simple D to D pass. So the defense makes the D to D pass support. Now this partner is going to start skating up ice. He's going to start skating up. I'm going to come back in support position to this side of the ice and he's going to move the play back. So now if we move this way, I'm coming up, partner supporting. I'm going to escape to the wall a little bit, turn, make my play right back to the D. Okay. Here's what it looks like in full speed. So when you're practicing hinge plays, the support player will give a target as a forehand if he's on his strong side. If he's on his offside, so a righty playing the left side, the target can actually be behind the body. It's just up to the passer to find that target. This pass, this pass option behind the body allows the player to catch it, quickly pull it, and move it up to the other side. The other thing to look for is look for proper gap as far as uh, vertical gap so that there's good support. Again, one, two stick lengths behind so that pass is going behind. And also, you don't want to get caught too wide. So a good rule of thumb is roughly half the rink apart. This especially applies on large sheets of ice, 100 foot wide sheets. Hope you find these tips helpful. We'll see you next time at M2Hockey and HockeyShare.com.